Hello! Finally, I know it's been a while. Um, a crate unboxing. Stay tuned straight after this one. I've got another one coming up as well. Uh, this one is from Geek Gear, who I haven't tried before, but I have heard some good things about. Um, they do um, a World of Wizardry crate, like this one. They also have um, a nerdy, geeky crate. So it's it's another part of the um, crate, geek crate movement, um, but slightly different to the... Um, loot crates and other crates that I've tried in the past. Uh, they also have a monthly theme in terms of their geeky crates. Um, I honestly can't remember what this one is but head on over I'll put a link below. Don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll be with you um, again soon with another crate. But for now let's get this open. Now this has a cardboard tab so hopefully I won't need to get a knife out. A little stiff. Sorry um, for the the pale light that's making me look like some sort of Hogwarts ghost. By the way, um, it's a lovely sunny Saturday afternoon, so I haven't got the lighting on. I'm enjoying some natural light, and it is making me look white and pasty. Right. Oh. So opening it, nothing printed inside. We have some blue crepe paper. Um, I've signed up for a Ravenclaw crate, um, so I'm, I'm guessing that you get different colour crates, uh, different colour crate paper or craft paper with um, with each crate you get. So I'm opening it up. The first thing I'm seeing is a T-shirt, which looks like um, yes, it's a design of all the Hogwarts houses. I'm just going to try and hold this up while also seeing it at the same time. So you've got all the Hogwarts houses there as their animals. So not the usual crests. Quite a nice design. It's um, it's not obviously saying Harry Potter or Hogwarts on it, but it's enough of a reference. Um, I'm just trying to work out the, uh, the Ravenclaw emblem at the top those of you who are familiar with Harry Potter books and films will know of course that um, in the books despite being called Ravenclaw their mascot emblem uh, animal is an eagle in the films it's a raven I'm not sure if which one this is it's curious I think they've actually done a really good job of making it ambiguous so it, it could be either or um, I, I hope that's deliberate I don't know but it works for me right um, ooh. I've got a Geek Gear tin which has something in it Oh nice, I could do with some coasters, I actually bought some beery coasters the other weekend. Um, these are Hogwarts colours, so we've got Slytherin, the classic Ravenclaw, which is um, blue and bronze, the black and yellow Hufflepuff, you can have it whichever way you want it, and Ravenclaw. I like these, these are nice, these are good. Now, I actually, I, I either accidentally ordered two crates, which no me is quite possible, or they have sent me um, a second crate. So I'll open that up in a minute and um, see what the differences are, but I'm, I'm probably not going to post the video again. Um, we have got a Macusa logo keyring. I'm going to put the light on actually. Oh. Sorry for the yellowness. Can you see that? It's It's got the United States M 
equivalent of the Ministry of Magic logo on there. Um, I've got a pendant of the Elder Wand. Or something certainly similar to the Elder Wand. It doesn't appear to be officially licensed, but most fans of the film will tell that that's what it is supposed to be. We've got a couple of button badges. Uh, we've got a little Dobby. Dobby! Mr. Potter's friend! Uh, we've got a little Ravenclaw button badge with the raven on it. We've also got the little. Um, We've got a booklet for March 2017, which has uh, a bit of a hint, or it says it's a hint. I'm not. I'm not really sure why there's a picture of Hermione there. Month three of 2017 has rushed past, and we have another bunch of boxes going out the door. We hope you enjoyed our very first exclusive figure. Trust us, there is a lot more to come. You'll be amazed at what is to come for April. Thank you for all your support and for being subscribed. Your Geek Gear team. Um, this is this is spoiling it a bit, actually. I I shouldn't be flicking through. It's naughty. What are you going to do? Um, yeah, it's good. There, there's also some stickers in here. We've got um, a Hepwig and a Ron. I'm just going to open these up, see what else there are. They're, they're quite big stickers. Still trying to get this open. So they're, they're quite good quality, they're, they're quite thick. Um, we've got a Ron. Bloody hell. We've got a Hedwig. With a scarf. We've got a Harry. I'm not a real character. I'm just a vehicle for storytelling. I'm not really fully... I don't have a full personality, I'm just there for you to project yourself onto so that you feel like you're living through the books. And we have Hermione. With a very short skirt. Um, we've then got the exclusive figure. Let this magic owl figure help you through your years at school. It will deliver your parcels by owl delivery. Beautiful magic owl figure measuring 10 centimeters. Um, so it's based on Hedwig. There's also a large version of this going around, but apparently you also have a 1 in 25 chance of a silver one, and a 1 in 50 chance of a gold one. I wonder. I'll be quite happy with any of them, to be honest. Oh, it's in a separate bag inside the box. Okay. I've got a plain one. I'm I'm actually quite happy about that. Um, I was actually thinking of getting the large resin one by Noble Collection at some point. But for now, this will do very nicely. Um, it is a plastic one. There's, there's a little bit of movement there. Um, but there's quite a bit of detail on the feathers so again quite happy with that one and um, finally we sorry crunchy crunchy noise there's also quite a nice quite a decent sized art card of Hogwarts in the snow with Hedwig so all in all, I'm quite happy with that. I, 
I don't think there's actually anything in there I don't like. I don't think there's anything in there that I'm particularly disappointed with. Um, so, for the mere for the cost of twenty pounds, that's a bargain, and it's monthly. I may well be taking out a long-term subscription. Well, let me get to my mouse so that I can actually turn you off. That's all from me for now, but stay tuned for the um, Loot Crate Wizarding World unboxing coming up. Feel free to subscribe, feel free to share, obviously, great for me, and I'll see you all very soon, very, very soon. Bye.